How about y'all come on in and let's have us another little visit here on The Humble Show. I'm Grant Fletcher being joined as always by Moonbeam Hallows, Brandon Cox. Slightly different setup than what we're used to because we are in the throes of Kayfabe Fest right now. We had a big fun day. Wildcat Sports is putting on a card. You can probably hear it in the background. If you're, if you're uh, watching on YouTube, you can see the picture in picture. We got a little bit of the ring in there, so we're going to just kind of talk over this match here, I guess. If you're listening, just use your imagination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll tell you about it. We, so we had a first half, a really good first half. These people are loving this. Um, right now, we got uh, Mickey Drama and Drew Taylor in the ring, which uh, is funny because we had Mickey James as a guest here. And Mickey Drama is one of the Wildcat talents who also was here. Yeah. And she said when she walked in the door, she was greeted by Mickey Drama. And he said, oh, it's nice to meet the second most popular Mickey in all of wrestling. <laughs> oh, yeah. And not only Harsh. that, but Mickey James wore a show up wearing, wearing uh, black and gold. It was like they coordinated. Mickey their Drama outfits. was also wearing black and gold. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how that information got leaked. And yeah. whenever we, uh, whenever we um, uh, had the panel, Mickey James called him on the carpet and, and brought him up there, and it was a whole back and forth. Yeah, but it was uh, these guys are going at it right now in there. You can probably, like I said, maybe hear it, maybe not. I'm not sure how much of it's coming through. But uh, I kind of want to be in the drama club myself. You want to be in the drama club? He's got yeah. T-shirts. I'll tell you what, he's a, <laughs> he's awesome. Yeah. He, yeah. he just looks cool. He just looks like a star. You know what I You're mean? You're right. Every one of these guys that we've met today have been just oh, spectacular. Oh, my gosh, yeah. They've been so nice and so cool. And Brandon, what do you think of the, your fir the first half of your first ever wrestling live wrestling show? I mean, I, every single aspect just blows me away. I think it was briefly touched upon uh, w whenever we had... Uh, Oh, I'm, 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 I'm distracted. <laughs> yeah, there's so much going on right now. Um, it was briefly touched upon uh, a few weeks ago, but just uh, there's so much um, personality that goes into every aspect of, like, every move in, in the way it's conveyed. I mean, it's, it's like you're watching, you know, live theater. Yeah. But more badass. I like it. Yeah, that's what it is, man. Um, they've These guys have been... Uh, Hitting each other pretty hard out yeah, there tonight. Yeah, yeah. All of them. I think they're really mad at each other. It, it's like been. It, I think it, yeah. I think it's uh, I think it's real. I think this is real. Like it, they're. This this right here is a true slobber knocker, and not yeah. just a, not just you know, uh, an over exaggeration. Yeah, I think old boy is gonna get hurt. He's gonna hurt himself. Oh, yeah. sorry. It's fine. Oh yeah, Mickey drama stomping Drew Taylor right now. Um, and we had some we had some drama during the first panel today too because we had a Wildcat panel. Yeah, yeah. On stage, we had Luke Cox, the founder of Wildcat. We had Brady Pierce, the heavyweight champion, who was on the show a couple weeks ago. And then uh, we also had Danny Flamingo, who's the Revolution champion. And uh, their challengers took it upon themselves to come up on the stage and, and oh, stir yeah. it up today too. So it was. Uh, there's some pictures out there. Um, if you're following Kayfabe Fest on the socials or whatnot, and I'll probably post mine, too, somewhere along the way. So, uh, yeah, I got a little heated out yeah. there. Yeah, he took his shirt off and everything. Took I was his shirt like, off. man, he is going to throw. Now, now, now that's I told Zuka King I'm after the fact when Zuka King took, I said, I, wow, I, you actually went for it. You took your shirt off and everything. He sure did. <laughs> he threw his jacket off the stage and all that stuff. So. Oh, yeah, he was ready. Now, they're working a rest hold right now. Now, what's that uh, called? A this, cross a it's, face it's, chicken wing? Well, uh, well uh, that is a wrestling move. That's not what they're doing right that's now. That was just a side headlock. But um, those are those moments where they're taking the time to, you know, communicate to each other what they're going to do. And typically, traditionally, right, the is, heel, the bad guy, yeah, is the one yeah. who's calling the shots. Is that when they pull out the razor blade and cut their foreheads? Um, th I mean, potentially they could. I don't think we're going to see that here. They don't um, do that no more. No more. Uh, uh, not as much. Not as much. I thought he was flipping the ref off at first. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're seeing some, some, act, some back and forth action here. They, we got a two count. And uh, up and over for a vertical suplex. Oh, nice. Oh, Looked really good. Jesus. Sounds loud. Sounds really loud. Man. Um, these guys are, are solid. Wait, did, you, did, did, did uh, the drama club win? 
The drama club? Yeah. What about him? Did he just wait? Oh, well, he had his arms up. Like well, you know, because he just did a big move. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, you got to do. You got to throw your arms up when you get a big move. Oh, it's, okay. Okay. It's it's compulsory. Oh, it's part of he, he's so cool. Yeah. I, I That's what like Brandon does when he takes out the trash. He takes out the Dude, trash I, and he I puts was, his arms I was about, up. Yeah. I was about to say, uh, yeah. mop the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm the champion. Well, okay, this is a sunset flip. Woo, That's what woo, that leg is called woo. right there. What is that called? A sunset flip. That's, That's what it's called. That's called a honeymoon. A honeymoon, if you will. It's oh, a, yeah. It's called a caddy shot. That was too. a hard <laughs> lariat. You could hear that over there. And we saw some chops earlier, too. Yeah. Um, during the Revolution Championship match, we saw some guys chop. Brandon, do you know how you fake chops in pro wrestling? I don't. Please do You don't. Me. You don't fake them. No. You, you just, just chop you the just, other guy. You just, you just hit them. <laughs> now, when you say chop. When they, like, throw their hand and they just, like, chop across oh, okay. the chest, you know? You just slap the guy in the chest really hard. That's what yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. They can take it because they're, they're athletes. Well, sure. Yeah. Why not? They, right? got a, they got a big heart. They can take it. I'll tell you what. Uh, aside from uh, them just being total badasses, uh, every time I'm in the green room with one of them, they all try a little a little sliver of uh, chess square. Oh. Oh really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Who oh, made yeah. those? Who made the chess squares? I did. Uh, you oh, did? Yeah. Nice, did you? nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I did. Well, you see, they got to maintain their physique, so they got to well, have just like a little, a little. I told tiny them. Bit, I said, Hey, look, you know? I know you guys like to you're watching your figures and all, but you gotta you gotta have a bite of that. Every good boy deserves a chess square. Yeah. The um, the people of Neshoba County are loving this. The people of Neshoba County that come out to things like this are the real MVPs of the world. Look yes, at that. Yes, indeed. Because uh, they are here because they love it. I mean, they've been making noise all night long. Oh, yeah. Like, it's it's the real deal for them. I and had a fella that said this was the best <laughs> day of his life. Uh-huh. Yeah. I tell you what, um, I, we just had a, it's just a fun day, you know? It has been fun. We had Ron Simmons here. We love awesome. Ron. I had never, like I said, I'd only met him in passing, like yeah. at a show, and then I spent 90 minutes in the car with him yesterday. <laughs> Y'all went and got some uh, Popeyes. We chicken. got some Popeye, Popeyes. He got recognized at the Popeyes, and at, like as we're, as soon as we were walking in there, I saw like it was not busy but kind of busy, and I was like, Ron's gonna get recognized in the Popeyes. Oh, and sure yeah, enough, he walked in. Some guy was like, Hey, uh, are you uh, are you Ron Simmons? He was like, Yeah, yeah. I, I can't hide the fact that I'm Ron Simmons. <laughs> And what's funny is he's sitting right over there. He's watching the whole show he's right now. He's got a real Ron look about him. He sure is watching the show. Yeah, he's watching the show. And when we picked him up, we picked him up from the airport, and there was already someone talking to him in the airport, too, like yeah. he had already. Yeah. You know, he's man's like, got fans everywhere. Oh, my uh, God. Now, that, that's got to have hurt Yeah, him. yeah. That guy's going to die. A rolling <laughs> centom off, off the top, top rope onto uh, Mickey Drama's did, midsection. Did, did you say a rolling centaur mop? A rolling centaur 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 mop. A rolling oh, centaur. I thought you said centaur mop. Yeah. Rolling thunder, if you will. Some people oh, might call it. Oh, rolling thunder. But um, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, and, and, uh, you know. Taking a move like that, Luke Hawks, we were just talking to him. He's been out of action for a year because of yep. he took a move like that. Woo. And it uh, messed up his ribs. So oh, he's, really? he's pr probably about to get in there, but um, he's been having a real hard time with that. And it's, you, know, uh, you, you mess up your ribs, that's a very painful scenario. He was, oh, he a was, flip uh, into oh, a stunner. Oh, Did no, you see oh. that? That was smooth. He that was, was really slick. He was describing oh. his rib issue to me. Uh, hey. Mickey winner. drama. Mickey drama, baby. Taking, taking the uh, yeah. the win here. Now check him and make sure he's okay. Do How we need the, to call the EMT? Yeah. How about the lighting that they brought with him? Uh, I, I tell you what. Yeah. These guys are professionals. It's it's I, the I real would, deal. I would hug the ref after I won as well. <laughs> he's hugging the ref. Yeah. He's, he's hugging the ref, man. I don't know if uh, if, I, I if the, the music the is getting sloppy kiss. I yeah. would say right in the mouth. I really hope that mics aren't picking up this music right now because YouTube is going to be is going to clip us if they do. Yeah, the whatever. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll work around it if we have to. What? Hey, look, we'll we just it. won't monetize this. Yeah, one. maybe we won't. Maybe we'll monetize it. Maybe we will. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Whatever. Well, you know what? That was a great match nonetheless. They've oh, all been really great. Oh, he fell down. Oh, he slid out. I, um... I don't even know what to say after that. Some people look really disappointed. Look how cool he is, though. He's just Who, like. Mickey Drama? Oh, He yes. does look cool. He's got swagger. He does. You know what I mean? He's got swagger. He comes out, he's wearing a robe, and it's like a nice robe, too. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. it's not like some kind of, yeah, you know, uh, terry cloth thing he got out. No, it's like He's definitely no scrub. It's a smoking jacket is what he is. He smoking. brings that in. Not a robe. Edward King's about to take over here and <laughs> let us know what's what. Barn burner. 
we're gonna see. We'll probably sit here for another match and just kind of you know talk through it. Yeah, but uh, yeah. I don't know, man. After so we had the Revolution Championship match, right? Yeah. Yes. And then we went to intermission. Danny Flamingo was the champion. He retained the title. Yes, he did. And they had these little little kids sitting over here off to the side, going nuts. And they were into it. They were going nuts. And nuts. he walks out afterwards, and he comes up to him, and this mom with her four kids. Um, two boys, two girls, and two of them are like little, little. Yeah. And uh, he like approaches him, and that little girl was so excited. Oh, like man. she just saw him win this wrestling match, and now he like comes up to him. Here comes Slime Season as the tag team. Oh, these guys are awesome. This is a uh, Buku Dao and Jay Spade, and they have this. Uh, I don't know. This, this, this. Their whole like shtick is really funny. If y'all haven't looked up like Slime Season on Instagram, you should. It's, yeah. Uh, S Z N is what it is. I got you. I got you. And uh, oh my gosh, they're running they down the ramp. They abandoned the ramp, uh, and they're running through the audience now. What is he doing? <laughs> they're beating up the audience. They're oh not God. even. They're not even <laughs> on the ramp. They're just high fiving. They're in the crowd right now. That's hilarious. That's awesome. I also like the attention to detail that their lighting is green for slime season. I love it. Uh, they're so cute. Look at these, him. Both of these guys are vets. Um, they've been at it for a very, very long time. Yeah. But yeah. So, but no. But he, but you know, Danny takes his picture with these kids. Oh yeah. And he lets them like he hold, gets them to hold the belt for him, you know, and everything yeah. like that. And this little boy and this little girl are just smiling so big. Oh. And uh, you know, I feel like that's why we do it. Oh yeah. We, th yeah. You know? It's been really fun. And I know that's why they do it. The first the first day. I mean, like the first day, obviously, like, like this morning. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Danny came and introduced himself to me. Yeah. And uh, the guy that was standing next to me, like, was cheesing. He was like, that guy is everybody in New Orleans' favorite wrestler. Yeah, yeah, they love him in New Orleans. Yeah. He's from Chalmette. Did they? Okay, so they left. They went around the whole crowd, went all the way to the back, and then ran down the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the GGS. Look, he's rolling And now it just this rolled. Side. All the way through the ring out to the other side. <laughs> Man. Oh wait. Hold on. Buku Dao's still out there. Look. What's he gonna oh, is he gonna hop oh, he's gonna hop the barricade. Okay. Alright. Now he's in. This, <laughs> this is uh this is really fun already. These guys are great. Man, one guy is uh billed from being uh billed as being from Paris, France. Yeah. Um, Camus Socrates. So so and as soon as they said Paris, France, <laughs> the audience here went, Boo! <laughs> USA. I heard that we were supposed to dislike those guys. Yeah. They turned on, they were like, I don't know what to make of this guy. And then they said Paris, France, and everyone was like, oh, yeah, no. He, he must right. lose. And so I don't remember who they're, oh, they're, they're taking on the revolt tonight. Slime season is. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is uh, Caleb Conley. And um, oh gosh, why can't I think of his his, his uh, partner's name anymore? I don't know. Caleb Conley and his uh, tag team partner here. It's Zane. Uh, oh god, sorry, Zane Riley. Thank you. Yeah, Zane Riley. Um, Ooh, that guy. The, both these guys are really solid. I believe Caleb Conley used to wrestle for TNA. Oh yeah. Uh, so he's he's had some some TV time. Yeah. And actually, the Revolt might, they may have wrestled in TNA as the Revolt there too you know, as a tag team. So uh, both these guys are you know very experienced. Um, it's very loud right now, so it's hard for us to talk to each other. But once the match starts, we'll we'll get it underway here. I think we might just let it play out, <laughs> and I'll. Uh, Cut all this out for everyone listening. But again, if, if you're not listening and you're on YouTube, thanks for joining us here. And uh, I don't know how well you can see the picture in picture, but we set it up anyway just so you could have a little shot, a little bit of an idea, of something that's going on over there. Yeah. Um, Whoa. They're about to go at each other. The music hasn't stopped playing yet. So. Well, that fella's got some tree trunks, man. There we go. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's a big old boy. He's got a Big old boy. He's got a big beard. That's Zane Riley right there. And then Caleb Conley's the guy, the, the more uh, clean-cut looking guy there. Yeah. My goodness. Did he look um, like that today when he, he was here? Uh, you know, I feel like he was wearing like a really big sweater, you know, and you yeah. couldn't quite tell like exactly. He tucked his beard uh, into it or something. <laughs> Maybe he did. Or Maybe he was beard. hiding the beard yeah, yeah. <laughs> for the full reveal at the show tonight. Yeah, good night. All right, look at this. 
They're trying Whoa. to figure out who's going to come in first. Okay, it's going to be Zane Riley in first and Jay Spade against him on the other side. I like these purple uh, long trunks that Slime oh. Season has on. Oh, yeah. Coordinated purple and white. It's nice. It's a good look. I like it. Those I guys like are it. cute, man. The headbands. Um, Buku Dao, I think, is uh, five foot even, I believe. Five foot even? I think so. Yeah. He's, a, he's, t- he's, he's, spry, he's pale squirrely. Pale. He's squirrely. He is. Squirrely. <laughs> he's also uh, one of the coaches at Wildcat, so he oh, trains cool. a lot of because he's been. I mean, he's been at it for Ages. probably a, a, yeah. over a decade now. Yeah, really. He doesn't so. look older than twenty five years yeah. old. He's, yeah, he started whenever he was a child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he started when he was eight. So yeah. it's uh, yeah, yeah. that's you know how you yeah. get in. Then again, I guess that's pretty much what Ray Mysterio did. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Ray Mysterio doesn't. The look referees a day hugging over. both. Zane Riley and Jay, I don't know what's happening right what, now. What's going on? I don't know why the referee's hugging them, but he's hugging well, them. Well, he's a loving guy. I, I think now everybody oh, wants now a hug. Oh, now Buku Dao wants a hug. Everybody so he's getting, wants <laughs> a hug now. He's getting the crowd to cheer on the referee. So, I, I oh, think, it's a group hug. From, I think that this has been the yeah. only time that uh, the crowd has been happy for the where's my hug guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, he needs to Yeah, usually that guy just stops getting invited places. He's a good guy. Give him a hug. Yeah. No, no. And this time, they're all Ooh. about it. Yeah. Boy, that yep, fella. Yep. All right. Look at him. Look at him. They're building the anticipation right now. Come around here, baby. We got a, we got a visit from Nim. Yeah, we got a little Nimmy new visit. Yeah. Huh? She didn't want to be. She. <laughs> Nim found a I'll, shortcut I'll through the building. You found a secret passageway? So people, come around. Yeah. Come around. Pe- pe- yeah. People are just like, they're come not talking yeah, to yeah. anybody. Look. Talk. You found a shortcut to where? They're talking to Narnia. me. Where's the shortcut to? What? You said you found a shortcut. Where's the shortcut going to? Mm. You don't hey, know. Cool. She just knows she found a, a shortcut. Hey, tell them who your best friend is. Your best friend, Ron Simmons. Oh, no, it's no Ron Simmons. It's <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to remove this. I'm going to have to remove this child's name from the from the recording. Just gonna so gonna this, he's going to be so upset with you. I didn't know he yeah. was talking about he, I have a yeah. lot of friends, watching, so I can't remember. He's watching right yeah. now. Yeah, I love you, Ron, yeah. Ron Simmons. Yeah, I'm sure that he really believes that now. I'm going to tell him that you said someone else. But I, I've got to drive him. We've got to ride back to the airport tomorrow. And we're going to be in the car for another 90 minutes. I'm going to let him know that yeah. you said someone else's name before you said his name. Yeah. It's too late. It's too late, Nim. Too late, you're, baby. You're going to jail. I'm you're going sorry, to jail. Ron. You're going to you're going to Ron Simmons jail. Is what yep. you're going I'm to. I'm sorry, Ron. I'm really sorry. I didn't know who they were talking about. Hey, right. tell it to the judge. Yeah. <laughs> who's, Ron, who's Ron Simmons? T- tell it straight to the uh, judge. We got a lockup out there for sure. <laughs> all right, all right, buzz off, sweetie. I don't even know if you can really see what's going on here. I'll be honest, that, that image looks very stationary. Yeah, it's just kind of sitting there. I'm not really sure if we're actually getting the full picture or not. But at least, here's the thing. If you're not really seeing it on Good YouTube, Lord. you at least kind of have an idea of what we're talking about if you can kind of see the ring. Yeah, yeah. Because it's yeah. not moving right now, so is I don't it, think we're actually okay, getting anything. Is it anything. not moving? Because I was like, man, that doesn't seem like a lot's going I know. On. That looks hell But it's fine. Whatever. We'll just have the, the, the picture of the ring up there well, for yeah, look, whatever, whenever it was intermission and I first set this thing up. So, oh, so now you not, know, oh. look, per we'll, the picture, uh, we'll, 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 what it looked like. At intermission. We'll okay. put the real footage on Patreon. Just subscribe. Trust me. What Trust footage? Me. I don't think I have it. Oh, really? I think the Wildcat guys have it. You can probably, oh, you're yeah. going to be able to catch it on their YouTube channel. Yeah. You know, they meter that out there. They put it out, you know, every couple months. But we'll just describe it to you. That's fine. Look, we got a side headlock here from Jay Spade on the Zane Riley. They're going off the ropes. You're missing Again, it. this is where they're talking to each other. He just bounces off of Zane Riley because he's such a massive man. <laughs> He really is. I mean, That's and a that big guy. Boy. Jay Spade is a uh, is a he's he's a an athlete's athlete. Like if you watch him uh, move, I don't know how much we're gonna get to see just because it's such a, a big packed card. I don't know how much time they have, but um, he's got some hops. He's fast. Let's see. What he's shooting you? off the ropes here oh. and elbow, you- shoulder into uh, oh. Zane Riley. And see what it is, what this is is they're making it count, right? Like when Zane Riley finally goes down. It's going to mean something. Oh, but he trips him. He trips Zane Riley. The bigger Riley. they are, the harder they fall. Goes for yeah, a, two, right. a two count there. And then he tag, tags out to Caleb Conley. So. So, uh, look, I hate to interrupt. Go yeah. for it. But uh, what do you call those one-piece bathing suits that Zane's got on? Uh, a singlet, I yeah, guess, yeah, is what yeah. you would call it. A singlet. Yeah, a singlet. It's more like a like a classic, you know, wrestler, yeah. like right. amateur wrestler kind of thing. Yeah. Just It's just missing the short part. It, like, yeah, ends in, like, underwear, yeah. you know. 
Of course, Caleb Connolly just wearing the, the short trunks, you know, yeah. the classic, classic wrestler look. Yeah, he looks cool. Man, just so, got kicked in the face. Yeah, he also just got kicked in the face. So there's that whole aspect, too. Got a toe uh, jam sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. He's... <laughs> <laughs> It's funny though. He's asking him if he's okay. He's very concerned Is for his he partner. Really? Oh, okay. He's like, you all right, let's right, see. Okay, Buku Gal's coming in now. So let's see what's going to happen. This guy's so freaking cute. Uh, Did you see oh, his band? Oh. oh, they went chest, chest to chest. Chest to chest. To face. They're sizing each other up. This is uh, <laughs> the flexing from Buku Dao. I feel like if you if we did have a live image down there, you really wouldn't be able to see it too well from here. You really know what's yeah. going on, but. Look, like I said, the crowd's into it. They're they're going at it right yeah. now. Yeah, the people of Neshoba County are getting a real treat. Brandon, what's been your favorite thing you've seen so far? I would have to say, I mean, this it's such a gimme. It, it, people are going to be like, ah, you know. Uh, but, I mean, it, it, this is, it's the same thing with any show that we do. There's always people that who come to the show, and it means the world to them that this show is happening and they are at it. And I love, absolutely adore to see that enthusiasm. Oh, me too. That's 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 what keeps us coming back and doing these things. Absolutely. See, they're still doing this thing where they haven't, if you noticed, they tripped Zane Riley, but he, they haven't actually knocked him down yet, right? So <laughs> he's gonna, whenever they get to it, we should get a pretty good reaction from the crowd. He goes into the corner, but isn't up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh whoa, whoa, whoa. They do this thing where Buku Dao acts like he tries to pick him up, and he just falls over. He can't do it. So, but like you said, he's got tree trunks for legs. That's a, that's a big dog. He's about to do a vertical suplex to Buku Dao here. It. It's going to make a good thud, I think. Oh, he, he's gonna or maybe he's going to reverse it and roll it up. I don't know. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, he's got no. some hang time. He's just holding oh, no, him up don't, there. Don't throw him out He tags me. in Caleb Conley. Oh, they're going to do a double vertical suplex now. Okay. Oh, nope. Buku Dao fights off one of them. <laughs> he's just passing no, he just them decided off. he was done. Okay, he just decided he was going to pass him to the other guy. Okay, and he tags back out to Zane Riley, who's just going to come back in and, and hold him still. It. And they're, he's upside down. So Buku Dao is upside down. His legs are in the air. His head's pointing towards the ground. He's straight up and down like an arrow. And they're just holding him. And they're tagging in and out, and they're just passing him back and forth like a, like a baby. Like a, like parents this would pass their so baby oh back gosh. and forth, except in a very weird. Up, oh, and Buku Dao gets out. Oh, oh, oh! All right, they shouldn't have messed Ends around. Into the corner, he misses, and he's gonna have to go for a kick. I think here. No, yeah, kick to the back. I like it. <laughs> this is insane. This is so good. Let's see what happens when he comes off the top. Oh, a leapfrog. Okay. So, um, right. Whoa! And now, Brandon, you would call that move in Alabama crab dangle. That's what that's called. Are you that's serious? not no. That's not what that's called at all. From now on, it's called that. <laughs> that's a head scissor takedown into a, a cross face hold. Uh, that, that's called uh, a Rodney Danger. To people everybody. used to call it the Crippler cross face, but it was called that whenever Chris Benoit would do it. So they don't call it that anymore. No. It's just a cross face. <laughs> or they might call it. You know, they might have a, a slight different name for it now. But yeah. Um, still, man. All, all four. All four men are in the ring. There's kicks flying everywhere. Oh. Oh. Kick to the head. And now, look, Zane Riley's finally down. Oh. And they're into it. And they're doing a little, <laughs> little, little pose off, a little dance. Oh, how good is that? This is amazing. They are so adorable. <laughs> well, those guys, the guys over there, they're, they're thinking back. about it. If you've seen their videos, they do like kind of like old kung fu style things where they say things and their mouth does not match up with oh. like what's being said. <laughs> um, the bad dubbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do like a really bad overdub on purpose. It's, um, it's, it's great. Everybody's out of the ring now. I can hear. There's some kid I can just hear steady over everybody the whole oh, time. Oh yeah, have you heard sure. that? Yeah. You hear him? I yeah. There are <laughs> yeah. There are a handful of distinct voices. Yeah, I feel like this is the most unique episode we we we're ever gonna do. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, oh my god. Oh. Okay. That dude went so flying. Zane Riley. Whoa. Oh my god. Bounces off the ropes and He's just gonna... puts his shoulder into Buku Dao and launches him across the ring. Did he hit Nathan, our photographer? I hope he outside? didn't. I don't see Nate, though. Na Nate um, asked, asked Sammy, he said, hey, how close can I get? He said, I don't care how close you get as long as you don't get hit. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Nate's at ringside. Nate? Nate's okay, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, I see Nate. He's okay. He's okay. 
He didn't, but that did actually come pretty close to him. You, <laughs> that didn't hit him. <laughs> you guys are just softening the blow for the listeners. Yeah. At home. Yeah. Nathan's Nathan passed. Y'all, um, <laughs> tune in next week for our memorial episode for Nate the photographer. Oh, <laughs> man. Rest in peace, little Nate. Hey, did you guys see the Astro van he rolled up in today? Yes. No, oh, I did not. Oh, my God. Oh, it's man, so cool. He's got a straight up P word wagon. <laughs> Is that what they call it on the school? Yeah, that's, they that's, do. That's they, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You don't, okay. You don't, don't, wanna, you don't, you don't want detention. Yeah, of right. course. Of course. <laughs> I think he's doing Okay, it's a choke. Looks like a choke. I don't have my glasses on. We're kind of behind him, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, I mean, hey. Um, oh. I think that's a, a, a European uppercut. Well, now, what it, makes it European? I have no idea. Oh, okay. I have no idea. Uh, it, it's, uh, there's probably uh, some, I, an extra U in there somewhere. Maybe, it's maybe so. Funny. Maybe yeah. yeah, it's spelled with it's spelled with an umlaut, an <laughs> uppercut, <laughs> is what it is. And uh, all right, look, Buku Dao trying to fight them both out at the same time. So here's what's going to happen: He's going to get tired. He's going to have a hard time getting over there. Uh-oh. And then whenever he tags in Jay Spade, Jay Spade's going to come in just on oh, fire. Oh, oh. And, well, and, and they oh, call no. that they call that a hot tag. So, oh. whoa, Caleb Conley did some kind of awesome oh, spin over the top. Oh, and then, oh. oh, my God. And then Zane Riley did like a handstand flip over the top with his whole body on the Buku Dow. the rolling pin. Is, is he sitting on A rolling pin, sitting I like on that. Him. He's, uh, he's not him. sitting on him, but he is trying to pin him down. He's giving him the business. Yeah, <laughs> give, he's giving him the business. <laughs> yeah, see, here's the thing. They've, they've cut off Buku Dow from his corner, right? He's yeah. tired. They're double teaming him. He's trying to crawl over to his partner. And uh, he can't sa- quite seem to, to, to reach him, right? And they're going to cut him off. Oh, and again, they're all clapping now. Eventually, he's going to come in for the hot tag. Now, the hot tag doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to win, but it's going to be an exciting moment in the, in the match. So, all and, right. So they've know. got Buku Dow. They're holding oh. him into a, a oh. full Nelson here. They're double teaming him, but he's fighting out. Now, he'll just slide right out and of there. He hits them both, and he forces Zane Riley to DDT his own partner. All right, look, everybody's down. Now watch. He jumps. Oh, there's the tag. Now in comes Jay Spade. He's Boom, full knocking of him down. He's had a Boom. break. He's full of energy. Boom, knocking him down. He's going. Hot tag. Oh, Into he gave a backbreaker. Him the knee. Going for a pin. I think he's going to break it up. Yeah, oh. he is. Oh, okay. <laughs> he deceives Zane Riley into frog splashing his own man. You know, I think Brady Pierce was telling us on the podcast that you got to have some endurance just to get into the Dude, ring and, yeah, and, you uh, do. and keep it going for. I, I could not do this for and 10 he, seconds. Oh, my God. And even even them being in this kind of shape, they're exhausted when they, they get oh, done yeah. with a 10 minute match. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm exhausted. Um, and, uh, and I'm <laughs> just, just watching here. Yeah. Absolutely. We moved a bunch of chairs around earlier, and that yeah. was pretty winded, tiring. Yeah. So. I couldn't even carry some chairs <laughs> up the steps to pass them off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. So, Caleb Conley's trying to suck up the crowd, but he's clearly the bad guy, so they're not going for oh, it. Oh, don't, don't mess up his He's don't messing mess up, up his He's quaff. messing up Jay's hair. Oh. oh, and a slap to the face. He just slapped him. You know, nothing says F you like a slap to the dis- face. It, it is very disrespect. ungentlemanly. Yeah. yeah. Very unbecoming. That's not how we yeah, do they're, it they're in giving, Vegas. Oh, okay. The ref hugs again. He's distracting the referee with a hug. Normally they just like argue with the referee about something or whatever, yeah. but they're gonna. Uh, but he's like, he's here, smell this. Trying See to jump bad. up and clap. There are two people clapping along with Caleb. <laughs> oh man, this is uh, this, is, this is a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. Brandon, what did you? So like the first match happens. Yes. And then what do you think when the first match happens? I I I, and I know this sounds silly to all of the mega wrestling fans listening at home. But I just was not prepared to be as engaged as I was. But it is enthralling. Yeah. Every yeah. single moment. It's riveting. There's something that makes your jaw drop. Well, our first match was PJ Hawks, who we've talked about before, who did yeah. that mall dive. Yeah. yeah, yeah and really cool. uh, Jace Valor. And they finished their match. And someone who, who would know, let's just say that, yeah. said to me, try following that. Meaning, like, now Dude. all the other guys have to go For in real. and they've got to, like, up their game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because it was so good, they're so excellent. Oh yeah. yeah. He's got it in his blood, though, don't he? What I really like too is the people here of Philadelphia, Mississippi, have really been receptive to all the guys who are from Louisiana. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. look, I mean, that's l- we all got kin folks there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I, I have plenty of uh, kin folks in Louisiana. Yeah. I mean, if you're from Paris, France, not so much. They don't yeah, really well, care for you. Those guys. No, uh, no, no, no friends here for but, you. No, yeah, anybody absolutely. from New Orleans or, um, you know, Baton Rouge. Yeah. Uh, Danny Flamingo from Chalmette, Louisiana. You can take that, uh, take that old steampunk, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 French yeah. crap back yeah. to. Camus is a, uh, no. <laughs> is a, is a steampunk type character. So. Take it, take it back to uh, the the Thames River. Yeah, yeah, the nineteen tens. I, I don't know crap. I don't know when is when steam when is steampunk from? Listen, humble fam. Yeah, I want yeah. you take to take it back me. to when the airship, homie. Steampunk yeah, yeah, yeah. is like there's no like defining work that made it what it was it was just some some guy one day was like hey i think it'd be cool if this blimp was steam powered what what if, what if gears were everywhere <laughs> that would that would make my day that would make me yeah. a happy camper because i mean it's like yeah like you know jules verne or whatever right yeah. you know the time machine and, right. and, and you know around the world in 80 days or whatever else yeah but like I don't think anything in that work ever said like, oh, and there were a lot of gears and, oh, and yeah. magnifying lenses and things but, like I mean, that. If you, here. if you read between the lines, you I re- guess maybe. I yeah. don't know. You realize uh, it's just a whole lot of steam powered automatons yeah, that's right. and <laughs> gears. I like how you use the correct term of automaton, too, because that was that was a big part of the whole steampunk situation. Oh, so. yes. Wow. Well, look, did you see that? That flip oh, over, over from Jay Spade? I told you. That's He's cool. an athlete. All right. Here comes Buku Dowlin just laying right. in the clotheslines. Oh, yeah. And Zane Riley's going to, I don't know, toss him out of the ring maybe? Maybe. Let's see. Nope. He's going to flip him out. again. Oh. All right. Head scissor oh. takedown. And he's going to go coast to coast, corner to corner, just bumping into both guys now. Yep. <laughs> Listeners at home, if you feel like we do not respect steampunk, uh, you are right on the money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Look, I got no beef with steampunk. I okay? got no beef with steampunk. I'm also not going to tell you that like I'm going to put it over and it's the most amazing thing ever. Right. right. Personally, I don't have a pro- but personally I don't have a problem with it though. But look, here's the thing. Yeah. We like copper. Sure. We like leather. Yeah. And uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, leather goods and copper goods you can get out of that. Uh, Jesus. So Brandon, Sorry. that was a double variation of that move they just did, but that move is actually called uh, sliced bread number two. Sliced bread number two. Because sliced bread number one, they already did, right? <laughs> they already made it. So it's the greatest thing since sliced bread a second time over. Who's you making up these you're, you're making this. <laughs> not, I swear to you, I'm not. I swear to you, that's what it's called. Oh my god. Oh. Uh-oh. All right. So they're gonna, gonna do some kind of. Okay. Oh, I couldn't gonna... tell what was going on here. Oh. oh. Buku Dow just took a kick straight to the side of the head. Oh! And it sounded <laughs> really bad. Slap happy pappy. Caleb Conley's going for a, a pinfall here. Oh, a very narrow two count. So I thought it I actually thought it could have ended right there. But um I don't know. We had a heel win the last match, so I don't know if the baby faces are gonna go over or not. Yeah. The go over means you win, yeah, by the yeah. way. Oh, just so, so if we're means? not picking okay. it up, you know. The good guys, the baby faces. Yeah, 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 Sorry. Yeah, it, sa- it sounds like you want some. It sounds like something that you would want to happen at prom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how was prom? No, dude, I totally went over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is like a uh, oh yeah a, a tarantula type stretch oh. here, but technically it's an illegal move because it's happening on the ropes. Oh, you are we gonna have, get in trouble? For can't have wrestling moves athlete, happen on the ropes. Athletic. Yeah. Well, you, you know the laws. Caleb Conley's up top. He misses Buku Dow. Hits the ground. He rolls. And oh, 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 a chop across the chest of Buku Dow now. Oh, he's oh. a big drop kick from Jay Spade. What if they all Everybody's dead. don't get up? <laughs> um, well, so sorry, if yeah. they're all down, the referee begins commences to count to ten. If he reaches the count of ten and no one is up, it's a draw. Oh, I've no, never Zane, seen it happen before. Zane, yeah, that would be it. incredibly anti. Um, I know. Yeah. I, <laughs> I need some closure here. But we gotta have some drama. They all get up very slowly. They won't. I don't think anyone gets to their feet before. Okay, never mind. He tags out. I was going to say, he really, I didn't think anybody would get to their feet before the count of eight, honestly. But um, now they're just trading forearms back and forth. Have you ever seen a match where everybody, like, ganged up against the ref? Um, in some kind of, like, comedy spot type thing. Yeah, that, that kind of thing happens sometimes. I, I, I want to see that. Happen. Much like, you know, like you're, you're playing duck hunt and you want to shoot the dog. Yeah, you can yeah. shoot uh, the dog. I, I want to see everybody just, like, 
This, this man's ruining, uh, uh, he's ruining everything. Let, let's get him. Let's yeah. give him a sweaty hug. Yeah. Back in the day, WWE did this thing where, you know, you have heels and baby faces. You have good guys and bad guys. Ooh. They had one referee was the heel referee. Oh, really? He was the bad guy referee. I So the little bit of, um, of wrestling I did watch whenever I was younger, I do think I was watching a, uh, I, I guess, a storyline where the, uh, the, like the referees were, like, super blatantly crooked. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, they, uh, I guess they kind of did it again in the 90s with the NWO because the NWO had their own, like, referees that were on their team. Jeez. Double team face buster there to Caleb Conley. Yeah. That was loud. I, wonder, I really want to – I'm interested when we play this back, when I play this back, how much of this is getting picked up by the mics. You're, you're it, probably oh. little of it, but – um, They're directional. They're just pointing, you know, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and also, you'll have to, like, draw stick figures where the, where the stationary uh, – Thing is right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll just animate that part. Yeah, yeah. So you can see the picture in picture. You know, it's well, an audio experience. It shows an audio experience. Oh, we have a video my thing. God. How did he, whoa. All right, so Buku Dao was actually what? holding Zane Riley over his head for a powerbomb. Oh. That's it. That's the, the finish. Jay Spade Whee! kicks him in the face, and that's the three count. That's it. That's Man, the ball game, that's everybody. Great, great match. Season. A lot of fun. And we're still not done yet. A great shot here, but I think for our part here, we're pretty much finished with this episode of The oh, Humble yeah. Show because, uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I feel like we're just going to sit here and try and enjoy the rest of this wrestling event. So yeah. anyway, y'all, KFIT Fest has been awesome. I'm glad we did it. I've had a lot of I'm fun. I'm glad we've been a part of it. I'm glad I'm watching live wrestling right now. Yes. That's always a plus for me. So um, very cool. Very they're all awesome. hugging. And now they're, yeah, they're hugging the referee they're in the ring and jumping around as their music plays. The crowd's loving this. They're oh, into yeah. it. Oh, awesome. yeah. <laughs> well, look, y'all, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave us a like. Leave us a comment. Follow us on our, on our socials. We'll be back here next week for another episode of The Humble Show. But until then, stay humble.